You'll have heard a lot about Ukrainian offensives in, in Kherson, in Kharkiv. Here in Bakhmut, it's not the Ukrainians on the offensive, it's the Russians. They've been trying to storm this town for a couple of months now. Um, it is extremely badly scarred. Uh, we can hear ingoing and outgoing fire constantly. And the locals here say this is an incredibly quiet day, largely because of the weather. Everywhere you go here, there is a horror story. Um, several medics died uh, while trying to evacuate people in, in that ambulance when it was hit several weeks ago. The guys we've been speaking to are a bunch of lads, um, mechanics, builders who got together and are basically acting as, as volunteer firemen. Um, but they said, we lose a couple of guys sometimes every day. Um, and quite often people leave because you can be very physically fit, but the first time you've pulled a dead child out of a burning building, that can be very difficult to deal with. As usual, all about rivers in this war. This is the Bakhmut River in the middle of Bakhmut. The bridge was destroyed, depending on who you talk to, either by the Ukrainians to prevent the Russians using it to enter the central part of the city um, or by the Russians themselves. This kind of defines the entrance to what you'd call the grey zone. The Russians don't control that bank, um, but it is where they are. So the worst fighting is happening along the other side of those trees. Life over there is extremely difficult. Um, so they've been without electricity and without water for um, at least two months. Still a large number of people crossing the bridge. Um, mostly the very elderly, mostly the, the socially marginalized, because as we've seen in so many battles, so many places in this war, those are the people who tend to be left behind.